Hey guys, it's kind of dark in here. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, yeah, welcome to this new program I have. It's called Movie Stuff. A little late, but not so, not so great. I thought the name is called Movie Stuff. Here for your sloppy seconds movie news. Yeah, that could be a good name. Nah, no, that sounds terrible. I'm gonna get a YouTube community guideline strike for that shit. Anyway. So first up is Deadpool 3 is in development. So after the Disney Fox buyout, we're not really sure what happened to Deadpool. Originally it was supposed to be an X Force movie, but now we know, according to Robert Layfield, that that's not gonna happen. Now it's gonna be a Deadpool 3. Ryan Reynolds is still trying still writing. But there is a rumor that might be replaced. No one knows why, but it's just a rumor. Now here's the thing. Disney now owns Marvel. No. Yeah, Disney owns Marvel and Fox. So, here's the thing about Disney. Disney doesn't release R-rated movies, they just don't. So, there is talk that Deadpool can be PG-13 now. Which, they wanted to. There's some people wanted to, especially that little kid. Remember when that kid made Deadpool and made Deadpool PG-13? And Deadpool made a rebuttal. That was kind of funny. Show sure, that kid. Show sure, that fucking kid. Yeah. So yeah. So no one's really sure. It's all up to say. So could a TG-13 Deadpool work? Comment below. Let me know. I know. It's stupid. Yep. That's one news. And in other news, we got the new teaser trailer for new Quentin Tarantino movie. Awesome. I am a big fan of Quentin Tarantino. I fucking love his movies. I've seen all of them. Uh, I think I think Kill Bill is probably my first R.A. movie I've ever seen. Or this one of them. And, uh, yeah. He's, he's, a, he's a film genius. And not even, he doesn't even try that hard. And there's people like Nolan who's trying to perceive it. Who tried really hard to make perceive there's some, they are geniuses. But Quentin... It's all, it really comes naturally. Anyway, uh, so, in this teaser we see Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, so a bit of Margot Robbie, and we don't get a lot of plot, just so it's just a feel of the movie, and a great Bruce Lee impersonation, which was really cool. Uh, for anyone who don't know, the movie takes place in 1969, and then the backdrop is the Manson murders, because this one, this movie was first announced, they were talking about it, the Quentin Tarantino Charles Manson movie, which was a lot of people were kind of disturbed by it. Like, how can you make a fun, cool movie out of the Manson murders? They were a terrible time in history, especially in Hollywood. But uh, yeah, that's probably speaking of time in Hollywood. Uh, this is his first movie, not not clear as we're talking, not to be produced at all by Harvey Weinstein after what happened. It will probably be one of the most terrible movies times in Hollywood was in the Weinstein effect and the Me Too movement, which ended a lot of ended Weinstein's producing career and 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 uh, accused a lot of male stuff because of sexual harassment allegations. Some of them ludicrous, some of them real. Who knows? Some crazy high-profile people got brought down because of that. And it did kind of turn into witch hunt, as Liam Neeson put it, but. Uh, well, at least some good came out of it that the people who perpetrators of sexual assault and abuse were all meant what they were supposed to be. Although I think well, Einstein was bailed out of jail, so can't always win. So Tarantino cut ties with the Weinstein company, which is smart of him. He didn't do anything. Why should he suffer the consequence of something he didn't do? So yeah. I think the trailer looks good. I'm looking forward to the movie. I need, oh, no one really knows how much of the Manson murders is going to be, what it's about. Um, all we really know is that's going to be in the movie. So I think we saw Charlotte Manson in the trailer. I think it was the guy with long hair. But we do know he's going to be part of the movie. Alright. Alright, so. As we know about Tarantino, uh. I'm gonna get a little bit more story, probably another probably a full length trailer for him comes out in July, so pretty soon. All right, for 
a final bit of news through the Prime Affair news, James Gunn has been rehired to direct Artists 3. Fuck yes. Now, if you don't know, back in last year, James Gunn was fired over a few controversial tweets, which the weird part is they were over 10 years old. Most of them were have to do with pedophilia. Which, you know, I don't think Disney would have hired James Gunn anyway if they knew about it. They probably did. All I have to na- put his name is in Twitter. If you put it in James Gunn, they should have known. They got the guy who did Tromeo and Juliet, the movie was Romeo and this was Incest, and the movie he made before that did have some pedophile joke, and have Ellen Page rape one Wilson. So they know what they were getting at. I think the whole thing stirred up about about when uh, James kind of started a fight with a recent conservative, but no one really knows. I mean, the whole thing was just weird. There was really no reason for him to be fired. I mean, there's some people complaining about the Roseanne thing, but the thing is that James doesn't really believe in that whole thing, to the little jokes. Roseanne said something racist, and that's where part of her beliefs. And there's something different between telling a joke and saying something racist. I mean, James Gunn is probably one of the most down-to-earth, the nicest people you could ever meet. I mean, he does a lot of live streams on Facebook, he's very nice to the fans, and he's really happy what he's doing with the Marvel Universe. And because of him, we got Guardians of the Galaxy, which is one of the higher tier Marvel movies, in my opinion. It doesn't just do with Infinity Stone, that's a lot to go with it. And, uh, yeah, I'm just glad he's back. And I think that's probably the main reason I want to make this video, just to say, thank God James got his back, that, that Marvel and Disney got their act together. Because he did apologize, and he has said he has changed, and it's true. James Gunn is a very different James Gunn that we know from before. Now he's making finally friendly movies, which maybe one day he get back to his R-rated movies. I mean, he already reduced the, the Belko experiment, which he wrote, and then there's a new Superman th- kind of thing coming out with him that he's producing. So, yeah. So, we're not, I think he's still going to write the Suicide Squad movie, which made me excited because... I did not like Suicide Squad 1, I just did not. But this is going to be probably a reboot by James Gunn, so there is that. Yeah. Alright, that does it. For the first episode of movie stuff, that's what I'm going to call it. There's going to be movie news and more stuff. Well, like I said, I'm glad James Gunn is back. The new Tarantino heard is good, and we got news on Deadpool too, so that's about it. Alright, see you guys later.